Hi there, welcome back to another Pythonic Accountant episode. Today we're going to play around with a couple of libraries that are built into Python's standard library and are really useful for comparing the files and folders between two different locations. So where this is useful in an accounting context is let's say you have a zip drive or a folder that you are using for you know purposes of sharing information with your auditors or if you are the auditor and you're getting data from your client uh, and you are kind of passing that you know folder or maybe it's a flash drive back and forth and you want to be able to tell what new files they've added or ch removed or if they changed files within it this is actually a really quick and easy tool to be able to tell uh, what changed and it'll tell you what new files there are, what files were removed, and uh, what files do not match between two folders. So what we'll do is we'll start with the file compare, which is that folder files within the folders, and then we'll use diffLib, which allows you to look within the file itself to see what is different within the specific file. So we'll import file compare, and from diffLib we're going to use something called differ. And so I've created a couple of fake folders here that have uh, a whole bunch of random files in it and we might play around with them a little bit. So it's pretty simple to compare our folders. So if we're in a uh, subfolder, or if we're in a main folder, and then the folders that we're looking to compare are right below the current one, you can just use what's called a relative folder reference. So we'll do file compare dot directory compare, and we'll just do folder A and folder B. And then what we want to do is ask for a report. So dot report, and let's see what it says. Okay, so uh, this tells us the difference between folder A and folder B. The, fol the files that are only in folder A are this big list of files, because I have a whole bunch of files that I created, uh, copies of itself. And the files that is only in folder B is file2.txt. So you'll see that file2 is not in any of these, and it's not in file folder A. Uh, but there is one file that is in both folders, but it differs. So the content within this file is different. So let's um, let's add another file so we can see what it looks like when the files are the same between the two. Let's take the file 2 from folder B and put it into folder A. And let's run it again. And now you'll see, okay, now there's an identical file called file2.txt. So differing files is file one, identical is file two. Now let's see what happens if we compare uh, what's inside two files. Let's actually try file two just to see what happens when we compare a file that doesn't have a difference. So let's do the uh, a file equals folder a slash file2.txt b file folder b file2.txt, and then we're going to read the content of these files with open a file as a, a lines. So what we're doing is we're extracting the lines of the file into this variable a lines. And then we're going to do the same thing with the b file as b, b lines equals b.readlines. And so that should work. Okay. So let's just see what's in there. All right. It's blah. <laughs> so let's do uh, D equals differ and result equals list D dot compare a lines and B lines. And then let's read that result. So the result gives us the resulting uh, text that there's no difference between the two. So actually what we're going to do is Let's go ahead and see if pretty print works. So from pprint imports to pprint. And I think this should work. And let's see what happens if we do. Let's go ahead and change one of those. So blah, this is file. Uh, this is folder A's version. Reread those. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. 
Let's just do for line and result prints line. Interesting. All right, cool. So that um, that slash n that's helpful because that tells you that there's a new line. Uh, it's it's an invisible character when you read it in the in the file itself, but what it does is it's that carriage return. Another way you could do this is you could do print line dot strip, and that's probably my preferred way. So that looks nicer. So we don't need the pretty print. So what this says is there is uh, a blah in one and then a, diff a slightly different blah in the other. I think the new line character is what, what's throwing it off. And then uh, the minus means that in the original file, the or no, in the second file, it removes this line. This is folder A's version. So it's comparing that first file to the second file, saying what left the first file, what added to the second file. So if we go into the folder B, what we can do is we'll say, if we hit enter, first of all, that first line should now equal because they both have that new line character in it. And let's say this is folder B version. Now it should do a minus from folder A and a plus for folder B. And this is really cool. This is one of my favorite things about this is, you know, this tells you the line that went away. This tells you the line that was added, but these little carrots right here tell you what changed. So everything else underneath it, didn't change, but the piece of the carrot changed. So I think that's really useful. So let's have a little more fun and make this even more accounting oriented. Let's say you have a file that has a financial statement footnote in it. Let's say you grab this uh, footnote here, contracts receivable, and I went ahead and I actually did that in file one. And I changed a few things within this from the one file to another. And one way to easily compare the two groups of text is using this same differ. So let's go ahead and feed in. I'm just going to change the name here and keep everything else the same. And let's see what happens. So cool. So the contracts receivable line is the same. The first line, it uh, changed from the first file to the second file, but the only thing that changed was this year. Same thing for here. The first file, the number changed to the second file, but everything else was the same. So this to me is really cool. So, you know, it's built into standard Python. It's very easy to use, not a lot of code. You just kind of have to learn the, the way to instantiate it and then how to print it correctly. But I think it's a nice and easy built-in Python way to check the difference between what's in a folder. And then if you have two files that are the same file name, but there's differences within the file and you want to see it, this uh, differ is a great way to do that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please click like if you liked it, subscribe if you wanna see more like this, and hope to see you at the next one.